Hello everyone out there, once again, oh, sorry, one, two, three. Hello everyone out there, um, thank you for watching the Whiskey Anonymous video channel podcast. Once again, we got Frank and Leonard, and we got special guests from Scotland. Hey, Mish. Hey, Mish Tori. Hey, Mish Tori. And uh, we have our local special guest today. I'm Johnson. I'm Raj. I'm a 30 Cyrus Montez, the legal counsel of Whiskey Anonymous. Yes, yes. And <laughs> I'm Chewy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> he's, our, he's our lawyer. We're, we're incorporated, so he's our lawyer. Um, today, now we've been um, alluding to our very special guest bottle, like it, um, you know, like we've never had this before, and we will. And why don't you tell us the name and what it's about? Okay. Well, let, let me just tell you how I got it here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <'Cause you're not. laughs> I flew all the way from Scotland yeah. with this bottle, of, two, this bottle in my bag, <laughs> and um, at one point in Shanghai, going through the scanner, the lady's um, security lady said, "I want to look at that bottle," and I went, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh, no. And she, I, she, I opened it up out of the bag and you know, and showed it to her. She said, "What is it?" And I said, "It's whiskey." She went, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, "Here we go." So. But she said, no, no, on you go. So it wasn't confiscated, so yes. I got it here for you. <laughs> yeah. So the struggle was worth it. I hope. I hope. No, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> but, but fundamentally, um, every year at our beg, we celebrate what's called our beg day. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing this for at the distillery for the last 17 years. And our beg day is the last day of the Isle of Whiskey Festival, which is always a Saturday. And it just finished this last Saturday, the 3rd of June. There was a big celebration at the distillery. And since 2012, we've been having our beg day parties around the world. And um, we have, on Saturday, there were parties in the United States, in France, in Germany, etc. These are where our beg fans come together and celebrate our beg. And every year, we produce a limited bottling to uh, entertain everybody. And this year, um, we've, we've um, introduced something which we think is rather fun. It's called Arbeg Kelpie. Arbeg Kelpie. Now, Kelpies are sea monsters which lurk in the depths of the distillery. Uh -huh. okay? mm. And they, 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 they uh, emerge out of it covered in seaweed Kelpie. and long Kelpie type stringy stuff. And it's an old legend, but the, those sea monsters can get onto land and can chase the good folk of Isla around the island. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd love to see it. So, um, and so, so, so we, 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 we call this whiskey Arbeck Kelpie, but the, the, the fun of the story of the, the, the legend of the sea monsters, mm -hmm. and the whole idea this year was can you catch a Kelpie, mm. which actually is a, is a metaphor for saying can you get hold of a bottle of Arbeck Kelpie oh, before wow. it goes. So we've introduced it as a committee reserve um, at a strength of 51.7% alcohol, mm -hmm. and that was a special bottling for our loyal, loyal fans. Um, and this is what we call the market release version. And this is bottled at the strength of 46%, okay. like all our bag, non chill yeah. filtered. And um, it's a beautiful whiskey. And like our other whiskies, like Ugadal and Corey Brecken, it's basically formed on the basis of 10 years old, which is our um, core expression. So you've got a lovely uh, bur bourbon maturation, you've got the, the lovely PT CBD smells of normal art bag but this one has also and this is just proof positive of what we've been doing at our bag for years is putting out experiments into the market for committee members to talk about and think about and this experiment comes from maturing some art bag in black sea oak casks Black Sea Oak. Yeah, from, sea from the Black Sea region of Europe, which is Russia. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Eastern, Eastern Europe. Europe. Yeah. Eastern, somewhere in Eastern Europe. Yeah, Ho hopefully <laughs> where there's not a lot of soldiers. <laughs> no, no, no soldiers there. And, and basically, the um, and Bill and the whiskey creation team, Yeah. this is an experiment they've been playing around with for years, like other experiments. Right. And uh, so it's not, it's Black Sea Oak maturation. Uh, so it's European oak from the Black Sea, and these are barrels that we had specially made for us. And then we, it's, it's virgin oak, 
and then we uh, matured our bag in it for several years, and now we brought it together with some of our normal um, house style of our bag, and the vatting together of that has created this thing called our bag kelpie, and our bag kelpie um, is actually the key flavour note is a sort of herbal, an aromatic herbal uh, nose and taste. And it's, it's extraordinary, it's very different from Mugadal, Corybrek and Tengazil. And it's also got this fantastic sort of viscosity to it. And, and Johnson, you, you and I were talking earlier about oily whiskies. Well, this is a very oily whisky. I so I hope you like it. <laughs> so, so when you say herbal, uh, does it mean like a very vegetal? Yeah, it's sort of, sort of, um, yeah, it's sort of herbal in the sense of being green, a little bit green, a little bit, um, but it's sort of aromatic, if you like. Yeah. And it's that sort of strange herbality which which creates this aroma separate to the normal Arbeg. And um, let's let's see what you think. You tell me what you think. And these are virgin casks. Virgin, so virgin, yeah. So virgin casks. So you like virgin regular casks, Arbeg. Regular Arbeg. You put yes. bash it together with some of the some oh, Arbeg matured yeah. in virgin oak casks. And again, the percentage is a, is a close regard to it, but it's not, uh, we keep saying this about our bag, but it's about getting the balance right between trying something new without dominating the house style of it's still interesting. And balance is, is key. <laughs> I mean, it's not as, um, yeah. I mean, just taste it, it's not as uh, yeah. peaty as you would normally get out of our bag. It's softer. Yeah, it's softer. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. oily. Yeah. 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 yeah, and also at the end you're going to get a yeah, the, the herbs you can taste like lots of different flavors. Yeah, and also at the end you're going to get a lovely sort of um, what I would call toffee and fudge. Toffee and fudge at the end. Um, a little bit of pepper, just a little, a little bit, bit of pepper, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of espresso, a little bit of normal espresso coffee at the end. But for me, it's the herbality of the aroma and the and the sort of seaweedy oily texture that marks this whiskey out as something rather rather extraordinary and rather fun. Thank you. If well, I understand this one uh, 2017, just one 2017 whiskey of the year. Absolutely. The International Whiskey Award. Yeah, at the International Whiskey wow. uh, IWC. Yeah, in International Whiskey Competition. So, so that was actually the committee version that won. Okay. But okay. this this one is 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 its um is its uh, as it were, slightly more gentle cousin. Yes, gentle, yeah. A gentler cousin. So, Excellent. No, again, we were talking about oil, about uh, non chill filtering earlier as well, mm. and I was mm. going to say, that's one of the things that just highlights, because this has an oiliness to it, but it doesn't have a weightiness. A, a, a weightedness. Wait, to weightedness. It. Yeah, it feels light. It's not heavy. It's not heavy. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But it is oily, and you can see the difference, because usually those two are, 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 are synonymous. Like, uh, for yeah, the viscosity is yeah. quite delicate. Mm. I mean, I, with your sister company, uh, Glenn Morange, you had the Signet earlier. Yes. For me, that's a heavy, heavier mm. whiskey. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, it's a bit heavier than this one. This is a bit lighter. Yes, I think, I think, um, I think it, well, it's, it's very difficult to make a comparison. No, yeah. But I, 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 I can see what you mean. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Signet has a fantastic sort of, uh, it's got a sort of rich, Richness, yes, uh, and this has got this is very deep, but it's not as mm -hmm. rich, yes. And I, I would keep going back to that seaweedy, oily yeah. um, texture and mouthfeel, which 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 marks this one out. And the seawater just really comes yeah. down the nose, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, hence kelp, right? Kelp, kelp. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it does, it does fit the description on the bottle, yes, <laughs> it does what it says on the can. So it's a beautiful whiskey, and um, and we launched it last week, mm. um, and um, I'm delighted to be able to bring you the first sample to 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 the Philippines and, and to Manila. Yeah, we're, we're very grateful. Thank you so much. Actually, yeah. I think I think you guys are the first guys in the world to drink this out of 
a sample bottle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Prohibition. Which, which, which is uh, <laughs> a great sense of it does. <laughs> I mean, the fact that he, um, you got stuck with Shanghai, right? Yes. Shanghai, <laughs> you know, it was, it was almost like you had to be like a spy about it. You know, oh, no, no, no. okay, oh. Okay. <laughs> I tell you, my dark glasses were steaming up. <laughs> this is making I was facing the nice wonderful <laughs> wrath of the Chinese uh, administration. Right. <laughs> no, 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 very nice lady. She let, she let me go, and, uh, and I'm glad I got here in one piece. Yeah, very glad. I mean, you know, I mean, we, we have, as, as whiskey uh, evangelists, traveled across the world, picked up our bags at the, at the, um, you know, the carousel, right. and found that the bottle's broken inside all oh, your clothes. No. So the first thing you have to do is go to the laundry, because <laughs> you smell like a peat monster. Yeah. <laughs> Coming in. Smell like a wino, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I, I think it's lovely whiskey. It's, it's, got a, it's lovely, well, it's a lovely, smooth, delicious um, our bag. Yeah, but yeah. It's, that, it's that viscosity and the oiliness and that seaweedy character. I mean, it has together with that herb, herbal note. I mean, it has that, I, would, I won't say typical, but that, I guess, the, the champagne color. You know, very yeah. typical of an art yeah. bag. You have to add some water to this. Yeah, all right, can uh, someone give me... Give us a little. Can you uh, sorry, can hand me the water yeah. there, please? Let's try the water. Yeah. Without the eyes. <laughs> this is a few drops. This is a few drops. Oh. This is a few drops. Is that water there too? Yeah. No, it's too small. Too few. Too few? Yeah. Like how much water are you saying? Uh, it's 46. Yeah, so break, just to break down the oils a bit, is that what you said? Okay. My back is right. I can't have meat. That's really different. <coughs> Gosh, yes. Well done. It's so much better. It, it rounds it out. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. Right. Thanks, man. And as a host, I'm also a water part, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Not too much. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, shit. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're the last one. Sorry. <laughs> so where can people find this right now? Um, uh, here, sadly, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the Philippines, don't worry. But sorry. No, but with, normally, if not, not obviously in the Philippines, anywhere in the world, they could. Oh yeah, yes, yes. You know, I mean, you could, you could buy it. Um, you know, we, we, the limited uh, bottling has been spread across most of our bigger markets like United States, Europe, mm -hmm. London, etc. Hong, so Hong Kong. No, no, Hong, no, no, Hong, Hong Kong. Wow. London, Hong Kong. So, um, Taiwan? Uh, yes, there's, 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 there's a good allocation went to Taiwan. Okay. okay. So, so that's probably your closest best yeah. bet. Yeah, start using your contacts. Call Murphy. Call yes. <laughs> <Paul> Murphy. <laughs> Murphy, where is it? <laughs> smell mine, sorry. So, no, no, so it's smell mine or taste mine or whatever since you, uh, I, uh, I, never, I can just oh. say we're delighted that, that you know, it's great to see such enthusiasm here in Manila. And, and um, we're here to help support you spread the word about the single malt category as a whole. Yes. And, um, and, and, the sort of tasting you put on today is great, great for, as it were, perhaps helping people to understand what single malt is all about, and particularly using wonderful whiskies like our bag and the orange. I mean, um, I mean, on behalf of Whiskey Anonymous, Whiskey Society of you know, the Philippines, the largest whiskey group in the Philippines, we're so happy you were able to come back and share your knowledge and share everything about this. Well, it was great fun last year, and it's even more fun this year. Yeah, well, we're a bit more relaxed now. We're going to have an annual event, we? Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to have you back. Anytime. Are you going back to Shanghai? Are you going uh, straight home? No, I'm going via Hong Kong, um, and then back to London, and then on to Edinburgh. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, because I think that lady in Shanghai is waiting for you to bring it back. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, know, you saved me and you stopped there. <laughs> but you, you know that thing that things happen in threes? You yeah. Know? Well, there was a big you know, strike, with, uh, not strike, but a big uh, failure on the mm -hmm. airline very well-known British airline the other day and I got caught up with that so I lost my oh, bag no, no. and then it didn't arrive in Hong Kong and I was like oh gosh here we go and these two bottles this bottle of um, this one was in the bag and I said, oh, no, please. eventually got the bag back and, and eventually got it here but I think it was the it was the the lady at the airport that was the third strike and I thought this is that it, was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> this is gonna work but well, luckily it did thank goodness Hamish uh, thank you again for coming here and to support our first uh, 
um, our, big our big day and our first committee, our big Absolutely. committee. It, it's, uh, it's an honor, and, and everyone's ex very excited to uh, have you here and to make it really official. It's like you blessed us with your presence. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. That's very kind of you to say that. I, I'm simply an evangelist for the whiskey I love, and, awesome. and that, that's what that's what I do. And uh, if I can help spread the word with you guys. And we can also get much more our bag into the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, guys, we have to end this program. Um, on behalf of Whiskey Anonymous and Whiskey Society of Manila, we thank you for coming and sharing us this information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great fun. And yeah. thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Cheers. Thumbs up. Slum, thumbs up, 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 thumbs up,